Can the Mino Book 14 Horizon Edition edit videos? Well, you asked us and here's the answer. Before we go any further, do note that our unit is running on the i7 CPU with MX350 graphics, 8GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage. We've used Adobe Premiere Pro since it's the most popular video editing software on Windows. Now we're going to be conducting this test in two parts. The first part with 1080p footage and the second with 4K. We've made two separate folders with 1080p and 4K footage along with a voiceover from an older video and a music track for background music. Basically, we are trying to replicate a random edit just like how any generic YouTube video would look like, adding multiple layers of video and audio, transitions, effects, noise reduction, color grading, slowing down clips, adding text, picture in picture, etc. You know what a video looks like. To see how the computer handles it, we are going to be first starting with 1080p footage. And while editing, there were absolutely no hiccups or lag in the timeline while scrubbing through. The experience is very smooth and even when you add multiple effects or transitions, there are no frame drops which is commendable. It's also worth noting that we have considered 5 minutes worth of footage and we are going to be performing the edit on these 5 minutes. And in the end, we are just going to be replicating the same edit and adding it at the end so that we have a total duration of 10 minutes because we are assuming that an average video that you would edit would be 10 minutes of duration. After finishing the edit, we decided to open a few tabs on Chrome to see how well it is able to handle the load. To our surprise, even with a few tabs open on Chrome, there was still no visible lag on the timeline. Let's now render the 10 minute file in 1080p at 30fps to see how long it takes to export the edit. And there you go. 20 minutes and 42 seconds to render a 10 minute video in 1080p. Moving on to 4K editing, we created a new project and imported all the media and we are going to repeat everything we did for the 1080p footage. We have considered the same duration even here for 4K as the 1080p file itself which means we are going to be editing footage worth 5 minutes and then doubling it at the end to make it 10 minutes. Even while editing in 4K, we did not encounter any lags and the timeline was surprisingly smooth. There were a couple of instances where we did encounter some frame drops when the clips were slowed down and we added a Gaussian blur with two keyframes. However, it was momentary and it went back to being smooth. Again, after completing the edit, we decided to run Chrome to see if the 8GB of RAM on board would cause a bottleneck, but everything seemed fine. Heading back into Premiere, let's render the 10 minute clip in 4K at 30fps to see how long it takes to export the file. This is gonna take a while, so we're gonna be shutting our cameras and we'll see you on the other side. Well, finally, after almost 43 minutes, our 4K video has been exported. If you are looking to purchase a Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition for video editing, you are going to get a smooth experience on the timeline while you are performing the edit. In fact, it performed better than we expected. However, the render times are quite high, so that is something you should be keeping in mind. While the notebook is not meant for heavy gamers or content creators, it still manages to hold its own and if you edit 1080p footage and specifically want a thin and light laptop, the Mi Notebook 14 Horizon Edition can be a good option. If you like what you just saw, make sure you don't leave without subscribing and feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around.